This here is my newest little project. It's a, I guess you would call it smoke signal for an arrow. Very simple design. It works off of a um, inertial firing pin, which strikes a primer, which ignites a smoke mix, which is inside. For the time being, my the one I made it is a CO2 canister. Not ideal. It's a lot heavier than a canister, like anything else I could have used. But I had it with me. It was a prototype, so I used this because I figured if it hits anything hard enough, it's not going to collapse, and there's more of a chance of the inertial firing pin to work the way it's supposed to. Apart from that, it adds about five inches to the total length of the arrow, and it weighs approximately. 50, 51 grams. All this is just basically to test my firing system here. I made the, let's get this thing to focus in here. I made the smoke just because on camera it shows up better and it's just a little extra. It's not going to give you much smoke because it's filled only up to about the, oops, about up to there with smoke mix so you'll get a puff of smoke and it'll burn for a few seconds I guess if it all works out well biggest issues I'm thinking of having is that either the weight or the weighted firing pin isn't going to be heavy enough to fire off the rifle primer or that my primer is not going to actually set off my smoke mix which I've added a few things including a fuse to try to make it more likely to light but like I said really have no idea how that's gonna work notice this here is just my safety pin there's a tiny spring sitting on the firing pin as a protection in case it drops but it's not a very long one so it's probably still gonna I wouldn't count on it as protection so I'm not gonna even test it out for that from that it runs directly onto the bow or the arrow should I say so you screw it in completely and with any luck as we'll see in the uh, test footage that I have coming up now it'll work if not well we'll just try again with something else as I said it's firing smoke here but this system if it was legal to do up here would be better off better suited with actually exploding and or incendiary type ammunition. This, as I said, is just to test out my little my firing device here. The rest is nothing for me. So, here's to hope it works. And I don't think I have to tell you guys this, but don't build these things for... Well, I guess you could build a smoke one if you really wanted to, but don't build explosive or incendiary rounds because I'm pretty sure all over the place are illegal. So, probably a good way to get yourself in jail or with some sort of ban on you. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so here's the attempt at firing this. Step further ahead, hopefully this arrow doesn't break when I fire it, and we'll see how this goes. Well, the primer fired, unfortunately the smoke didn't go, so we'll try to light it here and see what goes on. Well, unfortunately, that's what should have happened. Anyways, I guess I'll have to try it again. 
All right, so I guess we'll go into the aftermath. As per the experiment, it actually worked out well. Sorry about the shadow, I'm sort of in a bad lighting zone here. So, let's see if I can get it to... And because I'm in bad lighting, I'm obviously going to be in bad focus too. Anyways, so my striker design worked exactly how I expected it to. There's no mistake in it. It shot what it was supposed to do, as you see here. The primer has been hit. And the smoke fired. And it stayed in good shape. A couple of scratches. There's a frozen gravel pile. Anyways, unfortunately it didn't light because the weak part was what I expected to be the weak part. The first fire. Instead of doing what I'd originally wanted to do, which was put black powder between the primer and the open space here. I skipped out on that because I'm not even sure why I did that, but anyways, and I paid for it because it didn't actually light the second part as you saw in the video. Anyways, I'll make another one just to show that it is doable and it can work well. And instead of being a lazy ass about it, I'll do it the right way the first time. Anyways, this way I'll have a way to have a nice clean canister instead of one that I crushed on the machine while I was trying to machine it. Anyways, so look for that in a future video. And the funny thing is, if it had been used for what this would actually be useful for, so incendiary or an exploding one, it would have worked flawlessly. But because it was smoke, smoke tends to be a little bit more difficult, I guess, to get going than the old-fashioned firecrackers. Anyways, as I said, I have to go with smoke because it's illegal, or at least probably illegal, to do that with anything other than smoke here. So I'd rather not go to jail for something that would just make a lot of noise and possibly hurt somebody who's standing around watching me do this. Anyways, even though it was a complete, well, I guess can't say a complete failure, but even though in total it was a failure, what I wanted to test worked perfectly, which means for my test it actually worked. Unfortunately, my effects or effects for camera didn't work out so well. So I apologize for that, and uh, I'll make another one eventually, and we'll get it to fire properly. Thanks for watching.